Cancer. Welcome back, family. It's so good to be able to shuffle for you now. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are vibrant. I hope that you are happy. I hope that you are thriving. This reading is going to be timeless. However, the time that I'm filming it is for October. Allow yourself to receive this message with divine timing, of course. Um, however, if you're watching in October, that's cool too. If you're watching for your sun, moon, rising, or if you're a foster, watcher for cancer, that's awesome as well. All right, spirit, what do you need cancer to understand, hear, know right now? What guidance do they need to receive? Two of wands, cancer. What are we doing? Where are we going? Where are we headed? What do I want? what's coming through five of swords i'm hearing can we not can we not i don't want i heard um i i heard like a headache someone having a headache i'm also feeling someone gritting their teeth gritting their teeth if you're having headaches look into your stress levels lately it feels like um, the stress, the tension of you just something, it's like repressed energies, things that you're holding on to. We also have queen of cups here, uh, with the queen of cups, I am definitely getting a strong message of massage, physical, physical touch, physical massage. Um, it's like, like, um, physical touch of, as a love language. If this is one of your love, love languages, you guys, don't wait for, for this from others. Give this to yourself if you can by giving yourself a massage, especially in the neck, especially in the jaw, especially in the head and the throat and the shoulders or book a massage for yourself. Cancer, I feel like you were on the defense. I'm getting a vision of a, a football player, <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> I'm getting a vision of a football player who's just so accustomed to throwing themselves at the offensive team, whatever team they're going against. And they just buck up. They've been training for this. They're capable. They're ready for it, they're prepped, they're primed for it, and they just throw themselves head first. And it's like, it's all well and good when it's good, but they're, you can't just keep, they can't just always be that. I'm feeling that cancer, hear me when I say this, this is not just your energy. I'm, I'm also feeling like this could be someone else's energy. Either this is a partner or this is a friendship or this is someone that you're trying to work with or whatever the case is, a family member or whatever. Their stress in their external world, they're gritting their teeth, they're cr creating all this burden and tension and they come at you with that. You have this expectation so it just keeps building, 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 building and it's just like, you. it's like like football players just smacking their heads up against each other again and again and again it just it just beats you up even as i'm looking at this we have two of swords there's a man down on his feet because he's like i give up but it's he really doesn't give up he's just taking a moment in order to run through a line again or run through the next play or run through the, it's giving me strong football vibes um, at the time of me filming this football season is in full effect, but it's the metaphor of it all where it's just, okay, well, how am I going to come in and attack them again? It's just like, there's a time and a place for it, cancer. And I just feel like this is too much. It feels like it's too much. It's creating a lot of tension. And you don't know what I'm hearing spirit say is like, you don't know when to let, let go. You don't know when to let up. You don't know when to let it be. So you just keep slamming, slamming, and it's this expectation. Holy crap. This card that just jumped out. 
It's this expectation that someone's gonna come in and just catch you off guard. Or... So I'm sorry about that cancer. I don't know what happened, but my phone just went kaput. But what I was saying is that it's not good because you're constantly being put on guard. You're constantly being put, you know, finding yourself in like defensive energy. And the next card that it is I pulled for you is the lover's card. And what does this mean for you, Cancer? This means that the biggest part of you actually wants to connect and not combat with others. It wants to connect. It doesn't want to combat. And this is when you would be surprised that when you decide and you set the intention to kind of lower your defense, to lower your guard, to lower your weapon, it may not be right away, but whatever it is that you're facing will respond to your energy and lower its weapon as well. We want to come back to the heart center, the heart source, the queen of cups here. She rules her ability to nurture, to be supportive, to be gentle, be soft, to be kind, to be loving, to be affectionate. She wants this energy for you, for your circumstances, for your events, for everything that it is that is around you, in your reality, in your in your world. And something about the two of wands is standing standing out to me right now, spirit. What is it that you what I heard is self-worth, how it is that you are viewing yourself, how it is that you're viewing yourself, what you feel like you can do, what you're capable of receiving. It's giving me very much sacral solar plexus energy. You may not be aware of it, aware of it totally, because you might have, you might be so defensive, you might be so on guard that for me to even mention this kind of makes you think immediately you'll be like, no, Jess, that's not me. Like I have a healthy sense. I know myself. I know my worth. It's like, you're already doing it. You're already, you're literally proving my point. Relax, relax, be at ease and submerge yourself back into a deep space of love where you do not have to defend, you do not have to fight, you do not have to force, surrender that. And then really harmonize, connect, and vibe with the essence of love again. The Wheel of Fortune card also it jumped out, and I want to talk to you guys about it, because I feel like once you lower your weapons, and what does that mean? Some of you guys, it's being on the defense, some of you guys, it's being the loudest one in the room. Oh my gosh, look, five of wands. This is totally proving my point. Um, it's the loudest one in the room. It's the one who's calling the most attention to themselves. It's the one who has to put on a show, has to put on a front, has to prove their point. You want to let that go because it is exhausting. It is not soothing. It is creating conflict. It is causing friction. Let that go. Even if there are people who are celebrating this aspect of you right now or honoring or respecting or bowing down to it, spirit sees through all of this and says, lower your weapons, lower your voice, lower your shoulders, relax and tap deeper into feminine energy, which allows things to attract and not things that you have to fight for. One more card, Spirit. What else do you need Cancer to hear right now? Seven of Swords. You guys feel like you're going to be caught off guard. You feel like if you are caught off guard or overlooked, and this has a lot to do with the self-worth, the self-value. Because if you truly understood, yeah, it's giving anxiety, it's giving tension, it's causing internal stress. If you truly understood your worth, your value, your beauty, your vibrancy, your ability to attract, you wouldn't have to feel like you have to put on a show or put on a front or do all this extra stuff in order to achieve, in order to maintain, in order to uphold what is rightfully yours. 
And that was the Six of Wands. So, yep, Chariot card is jumping out. Then you're going to start moving forward. Trust and believe. Okay, so what do I see? What do I see for you guys? Um, let's look at, well, not what it is I see. I, I share what it is that I'm seeing for you guys. But let's pull from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck from Denise Lynn and see what confirming messages there are for you now my cancer friends how is this message resonating does this make sense and do you need to take some time to sit with this cancer i feel like a part of you really needs to sit down with this wow wow it's so funny because wow okay you got the first card to jump out is renewal and especially with the lovers card that jumped out earlier um because this is also frog spirit i'm really getting and then you also have new beginnings and the daffodil fairy i'm hearing renewing of your vows this definitely of course can be actually specific when it comes to marriage and renewing your vows within that of course and falling in love again um, and recommitting yourself but this could also go on a deeper message a deeper level and talk about renewing your sense of being open being in awe being in wonder being receptive being playful being light-hearted again being joyful again um, you also have the Aspen card of courage and also the card of retreat. And I just feel for you guys, this is about going into a space of playfulness, of joy, of love, of blessing, a higher vibration. And this is where I'm also seeing it takes courage to lower your weapon. It takes co courage for you to retreat, to pull back when there may be something or someone advancing on you or they may you may be in a room full of loud stunning you know eye catching you know whatever people that you look at and you're just like wow like how can i compete against them that's the thing you don't need to compete you really actually don't need to compete and with this if you have the courage to put place down your weapon to place down your voice to place down the bravado this show, this fireworks show that you're putting off, you're going to find a new beginning, a new start that is refreshing. And you that's where you're going to get your renewal. That's when you're going to get this new vow. That's when you're get, going to get this new lease on life. That's when the doors are going to start opening up for you in a way that is replenishing, in a way that is soothing, in a way that attracts everything to you that is meant for you. And you're not going to have to stay in a space of constantly fighting for it because fighting for what you want is all well and good, but over time, everything gets tight and tense and locked up, and that's not a place that is that you want to be in. Okay, Cancer, I hope this message makes sense. I hope it resonates. Please let me know down in the comments if you need any help when it comes to manifesting your intentions, manifesting your desires. Please visit me at bahadilife.com, the apothecary, bahadilife.com slash shop. That is my apothecary where I create all the fixed candles all of the intention oils and i provide herbs all of the magical items that you're going to need in order to set your intention in order to work your magic for anything that is that you could possibly think of manifesting until then you guys i'm sending you all my love i'm inviting you to subscribe to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in my next one bye you were created to live a life of magic abundance love and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, 
you'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.